All right, so we're going to do a couple of examples um, talking about the chain rule with trigonometry. So my last couple videos, they did it with um, simple algebraic expressions with the product rule and the quotient rule. But sometimes students have an issue with the chain rule when it involves trigonometry. So I'm going to start nice and easy. Let's say I have sine of 3x, right? Sine of 3x is a little bit different than just sine of x. I hope you guys know that the derivative of just sine of x is equal to cosine of x. Okay, those have to be memorized. Let me write this down here too. The derivative of cosine of x is equal to negative sine of x. These have to be memorized. The derivative of a tangent right, is equal to a secant squared. The derivative of secant tangent, oops, sorry, of secant <laughs> is just secant tangent. Okay, these, and there's a couple more, but I'll just use those for now. These have to be memorized, okay? Write them down, rewrite them so that you know them if you don't already know them. But notice that these rules only include x, they don't use an expression of x, it's just x, x, x. And here I wanna take a derivative of sine of three x. So this is my angle. My angle is different than simply x. These are angles, right? When the angle is not simply x, you're going to take the derivative overall. And we know that the derivative of sine of an angle is cosine of the same angle. So the derivative of sine of this angle is cosine of the same angle. Now the chain rule says that not only do I take the derivative of the whole thing, I have to multiply by the derivative of the inside. So in this case, I took the derivative of the whole thing, but now I have to multiply by the derivative of the angle, which in this case is 3. This 3 will not get multiplied by the angle 3x. It has to go to the front. It's not part of the angle, right? The angle is just 3x. I'm not changing that. And this is my first derivative of sine of 3x. So again, I do the overall derivative and multiply by the derivative of the angle to find a full derivative of a trig function using the chain rule. So let me do another example. Let's do cosine of 5x plus 4, okay? And I want the first derivative of that. So I'm going to take the derivative of the whole thing. And obviously this angle 5x plus 4 is not just x. We know that cosine or the derivative of cosine of an angle is equal to negative sine of the same angle. So the derivative of cosine of this angle is equal to negative sine of the same angle. The chain rule says now multiply by the derivative of the angle, which in this case is simply 5. And simplify negative 5 times sine of 5x plus 4 is my full derivative of this guy. Not too bad. Let's do another one. y is equal to tangent of pi x. Pi is a number, don't forget that. So now my angle is pi times x and not simply x. We know the derivative of tangent of an angle is equal to secant squared of that angle. So the derivative of tangent of an angle is equal to secant squared of the same angle. Chain rule says multiply by the derivative of the angle, which in this case is pi. So my full derivative, pi times secant squared of pi x. Remember pi is just a number. Let me do one a little bit harder. y is equal to cosine of 2x times sine of 6x. Notice that I have boom boom a product rule cosine times sine. So I'm gonna have to use the product rule to find the first derivative. Here's my product rule it's the first cosine of 2x times the derivative of the second take the derivative of the whole thing the derivative of sine of an angle is equal to cosine of the same angle chain rule says multiply by the derivative of the angle Multiply by 6. First times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first, the derivative of a cosine. The derivative of cosine of an angle is equal to negative sine of the same angle. And the chain rule says multiply by the derivative of the angle. So again, the product rule is the first times the derivative of the second, which is a chain rule, plus the second times the derivative of the first which is a chain rule. I'm going to take the derivative of the whole thing and multiply by the derivative of the angle. And let's simplify. 
Once I have trig and I have all this kind of stuff, I'm going to look for identities. If I don't have an identity that applies, like a Pythagorean identity or a double angle formula, then I can't simplify anymore. But if you have an identity pop up to which you would be able to simplify a little further, you need to do it fully. You need to continue. So the only thing I could do with this is bring the 6 to the front. 6 times cosine of 2x times cosine of 6x. Notice that this is not cosine squared because these two angles are not the same. Plus, I should say minus, because this is a negative times 2. So minus 2 times oops, sine of 6x times sine of 2x. Again, this is not sine squared because they're different angles. So just so my, I put my parentheses in the same place, this is 6 times cosine of 2x times cosine of 6x minus 2 times sine of 2x times sine of 6x. And that's really all I could do. And I don't see any, um, any double angle formula. I don't see any Pythagorean identity. I can't square these. So this is all I can do with this guy. Okay. Let me do one more. And then if you guys need more examples, then you can shoot me a comment and let me know. And this time we will do, let's do a, a quotient rule. Y is equal to tangent of X over um, secant of X. And we'll do this with the chain rule because I could technically simplify this first. But let's just play with the um, quotient rule. And actually, let me make it a chain rule. Tangent of 3X and secant of X minus 1, okay? So let's do the first derivative. It's a quotient rule. I take the bottom, right? Multiply by the derivative of the top. The derivative of the top, the derivative of a tangent of an angle is secant squared of the same angle times the derivative of the angle, right? The derivative of the top, the derivative of tangent of an angle is secant squared of that angle times the derivative of the angle. So I have the bottom times the derivative of the top minus the top times the derivative of the bottom. The derivative of secant of an angle is secant of that angle times tangent of that angle times the derivative of the angle, which is just one, all over the bottom squared. Again, it's the bottom times the derivative of the top, which is a chain rule, minus the top, times the derivative of the bottom, which is a chain rule, all over the bottom squared. Now how can I clean this up? Let's see. Well, I have a 3 times this stuff. And this is secant of an angle times secant squared of a different angle. So I can't write that as secant to the third because the angles don't match. So I'm just going to write it as secant of x minus 1 times secant squared of 3x. I can't do much with that. Minus. This 1 is getting multiplied by all of this. So just minus 1 times tangent of 3x times secant of x minus 1 times tangent of x minus 1 all over secant of x minus 1 squared. Now I'm going to see if I can simplify this more because if I have a GCF, I could take that GCF out and it looks like I do have a GCF because both of these terms have a secant of x minus 1 in common. And I think that's all that they have in common. So I'm going to factor out a secant of x minus 1. And when I do that, I'm left with a 3 times secant squared of 3x here minus tangent of 3x times tangent of x minus 1 all over secant of x minus 1 to the second power. Right? If I distribute this back through, it's the same thing that I had here. Now notice that I created a product, this times all of that, and this matches the denominator. Anything on top can be simplified or, or eliminated with anything on the bottom as long as you have multiplication. So one of these goes here, one of these goes here, and I have one left on the bottom. So when I rewrite this, I get a 3 times secant squared of 3x minus a tangent of 3x times a tangent of x minus 1 all over one of these secant of x minus 1s.
there's my first derivative using the quotient rule. So I had the chain rule within the quotient rule of this trigonometric function, okay? So backtrack, look it over again, practice these. If you need more examples, comment and let me know. Good luck.